Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool black menu inside of Sony Vegas. And so this video is a response to a comment that I got on my last video, which is right here that said, can you make a video on how to make a black menu? Now this is a response because I made a video a while ago, which is this video right here, which showed you guys how to make a really cool black animated menu inside of ScreenFlow on your Mac. And so now I'm going to show you guys how to make an animated menu like this one that you're seeing right here in, in Sony Vegas. So the first things that you're going to need is you're going to need Sony Vegas and you're going to need a video file. And then you're just going to need to follow the simple steps that I go ahead and show you guys right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and launch up Sony Vegas. So what you want to do is just go ahead here and launch up Sony Vegas. For the purposes of this video, I will be using Sony Vegas Pro 9, but you can use any other version. It will work with most versions of Sony Vegas. So let's just wait for it to load up here, and here we have Sony Vegas loaded up. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to import your media. So I have a little picture here which I'm just going to import for the purposes of this video. So let me just go ahead and full screen the window here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my picture and I'm going to drag it into the timeline and I'm going to extend it just a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to file and I'm going to properties and I'm going to go ahead and set my video properties. So I'm going to set it to HD 720p with 29.970 frames per second and I'm going to go ahead and change the picture format to 32 and change the quality to best just for my personal settings and I'm going to go ahead and click apply so as you notice we have our widescreen window. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit control shift and Q or right click down here and go to insert video track and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to media generators and I'm going to go here to solid color and then drag a black solid color in here. I'm going to go ahead and just close out of this window for now and I'm going to drag that solid color to fit the background image just so that it fits around the same. And now I'm going to go over here to the track motion and as you notice it'll bring up a little window right here here with a square and whenever you hover over the square it comes up with a blue square. Go to the corners and it should have a little blue circle or a little black circle depending on where you hover over. Just hover over the corner to one of these circles and click and drag it to make the menu a little smaller. So as you see I have it this small and as you notice we have a little black area inside of our picture over here. And so you can go ahead here into the timeline just let me go ahead and drag this over. You can go ahead into the timeline. You can go ahead and animate and move it around any way you want to by inserting new keyframes. But I'm not going to be doing that for the purposes of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And now what we want to do is we want to go over and add in our text. So I'm going to go ahead and add in another video track. And I'm going to go to media generators once more. And I'm going to go to text. And I'm just going to drag in a text. And just go ahead and type in anything you want to. So I'm going to be typing... Uh, just hello. You can go ahead and change the font and make it bold or whatever you want to. I'm going to just go ahead and draw a little outline and change the color to black. And I'm going to go and make the width of the outline look like that. So we have a little glowing text here in the middle that says hello. And then I'm going to close out of that and I'm going to drag the text to be the exact same size as the black menu that we want to. Now we want to go back to the video track with the black menu and we want to go over here to this little bar right here which will change the opacity. So just go ahead and change the opacity to make it so you have your black menu the way you want to. So as you see here my black menu is a little bit uh, not as fully black but it's a little transparent and it's got our text right there. And you can go ahead and make it look like you're animating it by going to track motion again and going ahead and moving it around with these settings or you can go ahead and add in transitions which is what I do. So I just go to transitions and I usually use the spin transition under 3D blinds. So I just go ahead and drag in the transition and go ahead and drag in the transition for the text too. And then if I go ahead and click play over in the preview window, oh, whoops, let me just go ahead and stop that and bring it over here to the end. So now if I go ahead and click play in the preview window, it looks like our menu animated in with our text. So anyway, that is how to go ahead and create a black animated text effect. So, so once you have all that done, what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and render your movie to 
whatever settings you want to, and then you're done. So just go ahead and incorporate the menu in your movie, and then go ahead and render it, and then you're done, and you'll have your menu inside of your video clip to go ahead and present facts or whatever you want people to see and pop out. So anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, so before we leave, I want to go ahead and ask you guys a few questions because I'm trying to go ahead and put some new content out there and try to go ahead and create some new stuff for the show. So anyway, first of all, I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to do answer back episodes, which is where you guys go ahead and submit questions to me and then I go ahead and answer them all in one episode. So if you guys want me to go ahead and do answer backs, you can go ahead and send me an email to this email address, which is applepc98 at gmail.com. Or you guys can go ahead and contact me on my website at this link right here. And so anyway, let me know if you guys want me to do anything for any special answer back episodes. And if I do, I'll go ahead and post the link uh, anywhere around here. So just go ahead and tell me if you guys want me to do answer back episodes. And so yeah. Also, another thing that I wanted to try out was going ahead and editing this video in Sony Vegas. So yeah, this is my first time editing a full one of these videos for this channel in Vegas. So. Hope you guys like it. And another thing that I wanted to try out was showing you guys some of my favorite comments. So on my last video, which was showing you guys how to go ahead and blur people's faces out in Sony Vegas, the first comment was posted by me, which was saying first because, well, on some of my videos I like to be the first one to comment just to see what some people's reactions were. And my favorite comment was this comment right here, which apparently this guy really wanted to be first and was a little disappointed. So yeah, that's my favorite comment. It kind of made me smile when I read it. So yeah, I won't be posting my comments as the first one for a while, but I just wanted to see what would happen if I did post first as my comment. So yeah. So anyway, uh... Thanks for watching. Leave me feedback on stuff you would want me to add to the videos because I'm right now trying to figure out a way to make them more interesting and trying to figure out a way to add more to the video. So yeah, let me know in the comments below or send me an email. So anyway, thanks for watching and now I'll see you guys in the next video.